In this video we'll calculate the change in the numbers of employees per industry and also the percentage change of the number of employees. So let's do the change first. We're going to put the changes here. So by the change we mean uh, what's been the change in the number of employees between 1986, for example 427.7 um, measured in thousands, up to 2016. 295.9. So we'll put a, a heading on our column and we want for, for this number to be equal to this column, this number here, minus this number here, that's the change. So we're going to put a formula into this cell. A formula starts off with an equal sign. Okay, You can see what's being typed up here as well as in the cell. So equals and we'll just choose this cell, C7, okay, so equals that and then minus um, the B set equals that, and then we'll just press enter, and there it is, minus 131.8, that was easy. Now we could go through and do that, that um, individually, that number of times, that would be very boring and repetitive obviously, so Excel allows you to just select the cell that you want, we want to copy this down, right, all of those entries for each of those numbers. So we select the cell that we want to copy down and just go to the bottom right hand corner and see how the cursor changes. Okay, so normally the cursor is that kind of open cross and then it becomes a smaller closed cross. And if I go to there and double click, it fills in all of those entries there. So that's done. That's the change. Those are numbers now. So agri agriculture, forestry and fishing lost 131 point eight thousand workers, mining gained one hundred and thirty one point nine thousand workers during that thirty year period and so on. Uh, so that's the change. Uh, we also want to find the percentage change. Uh, very similar idea. Uh, the formula now is just a bit different. We want to take the, uh, the change that we just worked out, so equals for a formula, and we'll take the change that we just worked out and uh, divide it by the number that we started with. Okay, so That's a percentage of the starting point. The, the change is a percentage of the starting point. So the change divided by where it started. We'll just press enter. Um, now we could put in the times 100. Notice I didn't put in the times 100, but what we can do is to take that and just, if we click on percent, then it turns it into a percentage for us, so you don't have to, to do the times 100. And the same trick, if we go to the bottom right hand corner of that cell, double click, that gets copied all the way down. Uh, so notice that's kind of rounded off these percentages um, to the nearest unit. If you want to change the number of decimal places that are being used in these kinds of calculations, you can click on buttons like this. So this, if we click on this one here, for example, it will increase the number of decimal places. So if we want to report our percentage change to, to one decimal place and we click on that once and so on if we want you know, two or three. But we'll take it back down to one, that looks about right. Uh, and if we want to make this table look nice then we could just select this and make it bold like the other ones there. And notice everything is kind of right justified in these cells so I'll just click on there to right justify it and line everything up. And there we have it. 